Hey guys, Briggs and Lee here with Hero Vine Episode 2. Ooh, spooky. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Ha 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 Um, not really that spooky. Okay, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my automatic snowball launcher. And this is pretty fun. Um, I had to choose between the snowball and the firework, and I kind of chose the snowball. So, what you're going to need for this is, you're going to need redstone dust, you're going to need a redstone torch, and a redstone repeater, and you're going to need a dispenser, and obviously, the main part, snowballs. So, let's just grab some of those. Okay, first you're going to want to place down two redstone repeaters facing the opposite way of each other. So like that. Then you'll take your redstone, connect them, like that. So it should look something like this. Okay, now you'll take your redstone torch, place it out here, and then delete it. As you can see, it stays on. Take out a quarter and keep doing this until it flashes like that. Then put down your dispenser and put your snowballs in it like that and then just connect it with redstone <laughs> automatic snowball launcher pretty cool right well there's also another thing that you can do with it you can take out the snowballs instead of using snowballs you can use fireworks, which I'll just get a bunch of these. There we go. Um, let's come get some more redstone. Connect it. See? Boom. Firework launcher. Now it's annoying, so. Now, I'm going to be also showing you how to raid a village. This is how I do it anyway. So first of all, I come in here. Um, might be helpful if you have some TNT. And possibly a flint and steel. Which I have both of them. Surprisingly! Wait, no. Because I'm on, uh, let's see, creative mode. Yeah. So it's not really surprising, but okay. You'll, for like a flat house like this. <coughs> Basically what I do is I take and cover the entire roof with TNT. Like the middle ones. The middle two right there. Okay. After I like that, I stand back and watch. Yay! Like half the village is gone. And if it's made out of wood, just light it on fire. Okay, for these kind of houses, push TNT on top. Alright. Place the TNT on top like this. And then just like the two on the ends. And watch it boom. Boom, yay! Look at where half the village is gone. Now, I'm going to be showing you the nether in this one as well. And I'm not really prepared because I have no weapons or armor on. So, I just walk through the portal, and boom, I'm in the nether. Now, there's multiple things you can do here. First, if you're in survival, you can mine. Um, you can go in these buildings, which I would recommend doing later. And in another episode, I'll go into them. Um, there's, let's see, there's multiple things you can do in here. Like this building. If you go in here, I think there's something inside. I don't know, but that's what I think. Um, let's see. Oh yes, there's a chest. Right here. And it has nether wart, two diamond, diamond horse armor, and gold horse armor. And there's stuff all over the place in here, which I'm not going to explore the whole thing today. But in another episode, I will. Okay, now 
I gotta find my portal again. Ah, there it is. Um, then I'm going to be showing, now I'm going to be showing you the end after I get out of the nether. After I get out of the nether, okay, I'm out of the nether. Um, now, you're, to make an end portal, you need end portal frames, and you need an eye of ender. Okay. You gotta take one, two, three, then skip the corners. Skip the corners. Skip this right here. Skip it. One, two, three. Skip the corner. One, two, three. Skip the corner. One, two, three. Skip the corner again. Now, hop out of the middle, otherwise you instantly fall through when you put the last one in. Put the eyes of it in there into the ender portal frames like this that should appear when you put the last one in just jump through it entering the end okay what you'll do is you'll come up here um let me get a sword because you need a sword to do this um you basically fly up here destroy that come up here destroy that one come over here destroy this one come over here destroy that one come over here destroy that one come over here destroy this one come over here destroy this one and come over here and destroy that and it don't matter what order you do it in it don't really matter because no matter what, this guy is going to spawn. And if you hit him enough times, at one point he will not even fly away. Because of the fact that I'm hitting him so much, that it's virtually impossible for him to fly away. Now, I have won a texture pack, so I do not know how good this is going to go. But, yeah, there he goes. Um, but basically that's it, except for like, you know, finding Endermen, which I absolutely hate Endermen, because they're so freaking annoying, and my cousin actually decided to spawn, um, Endermen beside my house while we were playing, and they took my house away from me. So, I hate Enderman. That's why I do not like the end. The only reason I don't like the end is because of the dragon. Which, the dragon's pretty awesome if you ask me. But, um, yeah. And, obviously, nether portals do not work in the nether. Because there's no way to get that help. Besides killing the dragon. Or killing yourself, which I might do, actually. Just so that I can die. And yeah, I'm dead. There we go. Yeah, I kind of fell out of the world. Um, yeah, that's about it for this episode. Okay, guys, um, that's my episode two of Hero Bind. Everyone give him a great round of applause. Yeah, hero mine. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Twerk it, twerk it. Uh, 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 uh. Yay. Everyone give hero mine a big round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. Round of applause. Round of applause. Yay. Bye, guys. Please subscribe.